Okay, the five E's of player development. Enjoyment, education, experience, exposure, environment. Competitive players. Enjoyment, it's not hit and giggle. Far too often, junior development programs, it's based on fun. Let's make it a, a drill where the kids really enjoy it. They're going to have so much fun. They want to do it again. They want to come back. Well, many times, and I've touched upon this before, that's just organized chaos. There's not enough structure. But players have to get to the point where the journey, they enjoy the grind. It's, it's okay. I understand I have to get up before school, and I'm going to do a, a shadow routine in front of the mirror. I'm going to do some exercises. I'm going to do some sprints in the driveway. Education and experience. Most of the time when someone comes to us, say, for example, they've been playing, they're 13 years old. They have a great deal of experience, but not a great education in tennis. Ideally, what you want is you want your education first. Just think about how math works. You're going to do arithmetic before you do calculus. I think of this often. I ran a program where I trained coaches for two years, and many of the coaches that left our program, and we were confident that we gave them a good base in tennis teaching, but they went somewhere where their experience didn't match their education. So they really couldn't build, build upon a solid base. And the same thing in player development. This is key, exposure. Um, as I've mentioned, I grew up playing ice hockey, and I use the term house league hockey. If, if parents only see the Saturday morning the house league hockey and they don't see travel hockey, and it would be the same with, with soccer. If you just see neighborhood soccer versus a high level of soccer, you wouldn't know. And this is very, very common in tennis. The parents are only around the local tournaments. Other than watching their kid play, their only exposure to tennis is turning TV on. And there's so many levels of play. Uh, McPhee's book, uh, Levels of the Game. When it comes down to one's environment is always changing. One wants to get to the point where they can change the environment in other words, a young kid goes and he's working out with some players that are lazy. He's the one who can go in and change that. He, he's not going to um, be affected by being around lazy players. So enjoyment, number one. You've got to have fun. You've got to love the, the grind. You've got to love the practice. Education first, experience second. And if you find out that you have to go back and rework things, go back to the drawing board, you go for it. You say, okay, I understand. You look for every competitive edge. Someone told me I was doing this and I got to do that. It makes sense. The science, the logic, the rationale is there. I'm going to do it. Exposure. Um, for um, college tennis, so many kids want to play college tennis, they've never seen a college tennis match. They don't know the levels. I hear um, people say that all the time. A coach is talking about a player. The player doesn't know their level. So then environment. With parents, yes, you want your player, your child to be in a safe environment. But are they in a productive environment? Are they in an environment where they're truly going to get better and they're being told what they need to be told? So again, enjoyment, education, experience, exposure, environment. Five E's of player development.